All right, guys, in this video, we're going to talk about is it still possible to find a traditional Filipina in the Philippines, or is this something that's slowly disappearing? Stick around and we'll discuss it. All right, guys, so to start off this video, I'm going to go back eight years to the time when I first came to the Philippines. Now, I didn't move to the Philippines at this time. That didn't happen for a little over a year later. But in September of 2015, I made my very first trip to the Philippines, and it was in Davao. Now, at that time, eight years ago, social media was around. Of course, people were, you know, on dating sites and people were uh, using Facebook Messenger. But for the most part, the majority of Filipinas, especially like out in the province, they didn't even have signal. So they couldn't hardly get on. I mean, I remember chatting with some girls on a dating site before I ever arrived. And I think the majority of girls had to go down to like an internet cafe and it was very slow and they would have to pay their five pesos to get 15 minutes or whatever time was allowed uh, based on five pesos or whatever. Because I remember having discussions saying, yeah, I, I need another 25 pesos. I'll chat you again if I can get another 20 pesos. <laughs> and so at that time, social media wasn't really highly influencing a lot of Filipinas. And I think even then, eight years ago, there were very, very still traditional Filipinas. And I have noticed now that I now live in the Philippines going on seven years in December, just a few months away, that uh, the traditional Filipina is getting harder and harder to find. Now, that, that's not to say that they are not there. There are, there's still plenty of them. But more and more are being exposed to Western ways. Karens and the Passport Brove movement and uh, the woke movement and just all these different movements. And uh, it's, you know, more access to like Western movies, you know, they're watching a lot of a lot of Filipinos didn't they didn't even know about Netflix Now I wouldn't say it's common, but It'll be common for a whole family maybe to share a Netflix account and they get the Philippines rate So, you know, they can have access to that They see how the Western women are and act and uh, Even Maya to some extent I would not say is completely traditional and Maya is an older Filipina. She's 30. You know, she still care. I would still say that Maya is pretty much traditional. She still believes in the traditional roles that, you know, cooking and cleaning and taking care of the guy. Uh, but at the same point, she's she's also very outspoken and boisterous. Um, she's not just yes yes husband. You know that type of a, a girl. And those type of Filipinas, they are harder and harder to find. Also, when I came here eight years ago, you didn't see girls with bleached blonde hair and red hair and purple hair and tattoos all over. And it was something that you just didn't really see. And more and more, it seems so commonplace now. It is hard to meet a girl, a Filipina girl who doesn't have tats. Now for me, everybody's got their own opinion on this, but for me, tattoos are not a deal breaker. In fact, I find one or two in locations, certain locations, kind of sexy. That doesn't bother me. The ones that really I hate are like ones on their chest, um, ones all, all up and down their arm or all down their leg. Um, those are the ones that really I don't like. Now, of course, everybody's different. A lot of the, a lot of guys don't want a tattoo. Per period. But if you want a girl in her twenties in the Philippines, it is getting harder and harder to find a girl who does not have any tattoos. The traditional, 
Filipina, no, that uh, it's not as common. Also, when I got here, it was very common to go to the beach or a waterfall or a place to go swimming. And guess what? The majority of the Filipinas would be wearing regular shorts and t-shirts while they swam. Very, very modest. And now, <laughs> they're all wearing bikinis. Again, now if you go out into the province, you'll still see this. But I'm here to tell you that it is disappearing. This new generation coming through and, and you know, with uh, social media and everything else and access to all the Western movies, these things are disappearing. It's harder and harder to find the dyed hair, short hair. I, I didn't see barely any of that when I first got here in 2015, eight years ago. And flash forward eight years, if I walk around Dumaguete, I see tattoos all over, I see dyed hair, I see girls dressing kind of punk. I guess I would call it punk, I'm my 80s child. I don't know what you'd call it now. Uh, I see, you know, the short hair, bleached red hair, and uh, tattoos, and um, attitudes are different. You know, it's, uh, it's changing. It's changing now. Would I still choose a Filipina over a Western girl? <laughs> yeah, for sure, absolutely. And even when I was in uh, places like Thailand and Vietnam, you see that as well. Um, the days of a very, very traditional female on this planet are disappearing. And uh, the Philippines is no exception to that. But uh, I'd like to hear your opinion on it. By the way, guys, if you're looking to get married in the Philippines, consider a prenup. Contact Veritas at vcg.ph. Again, if you're considering getting married in the Philippines, consider a prenup by contacting Veritas Consulting Group at vcg.ph. All right, so again, I would like to hear people's opinions on this, you know. I know they're still out there. I've got myself a pretty traditional Filipina, I would say. But new guys coming out here, finding, uh, you know, Filipinas who are totally traditional in the sense. And what does that even really mean? What is a what is a traditional girl? You know, when I think of traditional, I would think of my own mother growing up, taking care of us, you know, staying at home, uh, you know, cooking the meals, doing the laundry, um, just kind of taking care of the household and just being there for the family. And so what exactly is traditional you know let me know your definition down in the comments but for me that's kind of what it means to me a kind of a traditional role of a woman but I would say that most Filipinas especially in a Filipino family most of them are having to work as well sometimes they work more than the guys do in their family so is that really traditional? Some, sometimes the guys are lazy here and they're just sitting at home and while the girl is out working or the girl goes overseas and maybe the guy goes overseas or, you know, if they're both working, is that even really a traditional uh, arrangement anymore or a traditional Filipina? I still think for the most part, guys are supposed to make the major decisions, at least with financial and the girls are expected to, uh, you know, cook the meals and clean up and take care of the babies so I think that is still in their mindset you know I think that's still the women kind of expect to do that and I think the guys also think that they should be doing that but in the traditional role the sense of a traditional role I think sometimes the, guy, the girls end up are working more so than the guys here. I would, I would argue the girls work harder than the guys here sometimes. It seems like that in my opinion. Because it's very hard for a Filipino guy to really support a, a family here off of one salary. Uh, I read an article the other day. It says the new I, iPhone 15 Pro. How many, how many days would 
a Filipino have to work to pay for one if they gave 100% of their salary to that? And the answer was 79 and a half days, the second highest in the world. Filipinos would have to work 79 and a half days to pay for this. And that is putting 100% of their income to purchasing the phone, which I found interesting. But yeah, again, for me personally, I think it's getting harder. I think it's really getting harder. And if you're looking for the 20 something, you really are gonna have to get out into the province. It's harder to find. But let me know your experience. Have you found a traditional Filipina? Have you found a Filipina? In my opinion, a lot of them don't just wanna stay at home. They want some kind of career. They wanna own a business or something. Uh, does your Filipina, how many of you are in a relationship with a Filipino who doesn't even know how to cook? I've been in relationships with a few Filipinos who didn't even really know how to cook. And they weren't really contributing much other than looking pretty, you know. So thoughts, questions, opinions, comment down below. Guys, if you want to help support my channel, I think it's like a dollar, two dollars a month. You can join my YouTube membership by clicking the join button under any of my YouTube videos. Uh, you can also head over to patreon.com slash geo in the Philippines and support me there. And don't forget to check out my accompanying website, free newsletter, a lot of free information, and a big list of all the things that I highly recommend for living or traveling out to the Philippines. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.